we're with Frankie Kazarian here, uh, current Ring of Honor star, and he did wrestle for Great North Wrestling once many, many years ago in our beginning days. Uh, what brings you here to Cauliflower Alley tonight? Um, I always come to this event every year I can, ever since um, probably 1998. Reason being is Killer Kowalski, my trainer, was a member and very fond of these get-togethers, and he was the one that introduced me to the Cauliflower Alley Club, made me become a member, and I used to come out to visit with him and to pay my respects, and uh, it's something that I've been doing ever since. It's something I'm going to do uh, until they throw me in the ground. I really enjoy seeing uh, the past, present, and future of pro wrestling kind of converge and get together. Uh, I enjoy seeing old friends. I enjoy seeing folks I haven't seen in a long time. Uh, people I've worked with, worked for. Uh, it's a great time. I love it, and I'm here every year I possibly can be. Now, how do you like Ring of Honor compared to Impact? Because you spent quite a few years with Impact. Uh, I love my time in Impact. Uh, I really enjoy being one of the guys that built that company from the ground up. Um, nothing but good memories. I made some lifelong friends, some brothers. Um, uh, when it was time for me to go, uh, Ring of Honor presented new challenges and new opportunities for me. And my time there has been nothing short of phenomenal. I've uh, really enjoyed it. Enjoy our locker room, enjoy their commitment to the actual in-ring product. And, uh, and I'm happy with what Impact's doing now. They've really seemed to turn a corner. They got some great management in place and uh, that's only gonna help all of us when there's a more viable place that the boys and uh, young ladies can work. Uh, but right now I'm having a great time with Ring of Honor, uh, a lot of freedom creatively and uh, just having a blast. Are you gonna be part of this all in show that uh, Cody Rhodes is putting on? Uh, I have a lot of history with the Young Bucks, the Bullet Club, and um, that's, uh, that's to be determined, so we'll see. How many events is Ring of Honor putting on a month now? Uh, it varies. You know, this, this May and June, we're really busy. I'm, I think May we got, you know, probably eight or nine shows between the War of the Worlds tour coming up and Honor United, the tour we're doing in the UK, and some television tapings. So usually a very, anywhere from four to eight to sometimes 10 a month, it really depends on the month, but uh, the schedule's great. Um, it's, uh, it's enough to keep me busy, but it also allows me, you know, that much needed time at home with the family. And uh, where can people follow you on social media if they want to look you up? Twitter, uh, at Frankie Kazarian, Instagram, Frankie Kazarian underscore official. That's where I'm most active. I uh, talk a lot about politics. I I uh, talk a lot about my band, Gutter Candy, and I uh, talk a lot about just random BS and movies and nonsense. So follow me there if you want to uh, dumb yourself down a little bit. I, I haven't heard anything about this band yet. What type of music do you play? Uh, I'm in a band right now called Gutter Candy, and we do originals, and we do a lot of 80s and 90s covers, a lot of hard rock covers, Motley Crue, Guns N' Roses, uh, Nine Inch Nails, Poison. We kind of run the gamut. Uh, it's all about entertaining. We're a very entertaining band. We got a YouTube show called Put It Right Here, which again is a lot of stupidity, but uh, funny stupidity we hope. So check that out on YouTube. And yeah, it's my other passion away from this, this being pro wrestling, that keeps me busy when I'm not on the road. Which is a better band in your opinion, Poison or Motley Crue? Woof, that's a toss up. You know what, man, I was never, I got into Guns N' Roses and then got into much heavier stuff, Metallica, Slayer, and Megadeth, so. Um, I would say, uh, a, I don't think Poison gets the credit they deserve. I think the, the answer would be Motley Crue, but I don't think Poison gets the credit they deserve for actually having the chops, because they did have it. But uh, Did you see one. Motley Crue's farewell tour? I did not. I saw. I was able to see Motley and Poison tour together, and I saw Motley with Aerosmith. Um, I didn't see the final tour. I saw the final concert. I watched the, the video of it. Um, yeah, I was bummed, because it was in LA too, which is my stomping grounds. I was bummed I missed that, but you know, I'm, I'm, I'm happy for those guys that they hung it up when they thought it was time to go, though. Any final message you want to say to our viewers to close this off? Uh, just say, I want to say, if you don't know what the Cauliflower Alley is all about, please research it. If you like or love pro wrestling like we all do, uh, please look into this organization. Please consider becoming a member. Uh, it's a fantastic organization, and um, we need a lot of the younger blood to really keep this going and look it up and sign up and do it and write it off on your taxes.